So again, we're solving for y, 2x minus 5y equals 10. y has been multiplied by negative 5, and then there's a 2x being added on. We've got to solve for y. We've got to get y equals something, right? So um, just for fun, I'm actually going to turn that subtract into a plus negative, because it's the same thing as 2x plus negative 5y, right? Um, and I just kind of helps remember that, that it's a negative 5y plus 2x. So just keep that negative by the 5y, because we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, first of all. And the trick is to make sure that you're writing down negative, five, negative 5y equals 10 minus 2x. And I'm actually going to write that as negative 2x plus 10. Now, is that, is that step all right? Yes. All right. So y is being multiplied by negative 5. To get it on its own, I need to divide by? Negative 5. 5, yeah. And if I divide that guy by negative 5, I need to divide everything by negative 5. Everything by negative 5. So that gives us negative over negative. Positive 5 over 5 is 1, so 1y one or y equals negative over negative positive 2 over 5, 2 fifths x. Or you could write 2x over 5, but it's the same thing. 2x over 5, 2 fifths x, same thing. And then plus 10 over negative 5. That's a positive over a negative. That makes it negative 10 over 5, 2. So, any questions up to here? No. Nope. That's kind of the hard part, although now we've got to graph it. And the trick is be, be, um, be clever about what you're plugging in for x. You guys can plug in like 1, 2, 3 or negative 1, 0, 1. Um, let's definitely plug in zero. Always plug in zero. That that always works out, and that gives us the y-intercept. So let's just start with that. If we plug zero in, we get two fifths times zero minus two. So we just do that one first. Should be just well zero minus two, or negative two, right? And the question actually is, well, what, what are some clever things you could plug in to make it all work out neatly so that we're not dealing with fractions? So that is the trick, and a lot of students uh, will get stuck on this part, and that's okay. That's to be expected. So, so the trick is, okay, like, what can I plug in so that when I multiply it by fifths, I end up with nice numbers. And the, the answer kind of is, well, multiples of 5. So like 5, 10, 15, negative 5, that type of thing, right? Um, so I'm just going to suggest like 5 and 10, because they're multiples of 5. And as you work it out, you'll notice that you'll get whole numbers in the end, or integers, right? Um, negative 5 would also be a good one. Well, if we plug in 5 and 10, and then multiply 2 fifths times 5. There's a couple of ways of doing that, by the way. 2 fifths times 5. You can write that as 5 over 1, and then the 5s cross cancel, and we're just left with 2. Or, um, or it could be, okay, 2 fifths times 5, uh, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 over 5 gives 2, right? So I'm just going to do it that way. I think students might like to see that. I don't know. 2 times 5, so I have a 10 over 5 minus 2, which gives us 2 minus 2, which is... Um, Put a piece of paper under here, which is zero. 
Um, 2 over 5 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20 over 5 minus 2. And that's 20 over 5, 4 minus 2. And that's 2. So that's the hard part. All the hard part is done. But is that, is that confusing? Or are we all right with that? Yeah. Get that right, cool. Um, and so, so if you guys have, for example, you know, y equals say four thirds x something something something, you would plug in multiples of three because there's a three on the bottom here. So you might think about, well, I'll plug in like you know a zero, a three, and a six, or like a nine or a negative three or multiples of three, and then they would all work out nicely. So that's the trick on these. Um, so now we've got to plot the points, zero, negative two, five, zero, 10, two. And this is my x-axis, my y-axis, and then draw a line through it. And then on that line, let's just double check the slope of the y-intercept. We'll notice that the line hits the y-axis at negative 2. So that is your b, your slope. Um, so this is y equals mx plus b. So b is negative 2, that makes sense. And m should be 2 fifths. So the rise of the run should be 2 over 5. And if I take two points, like this point and this point, I'm going over this distance and up here, over this distance and up here. So I'm going across 5, and that's the run. And then I'm going up 2, that's the rise. So the rise over run, the slope, equals 2 over 5. The slope is 2 over 5. Okay with that? Yes. All right. There we go.